I'm at the Palm Beach 2022 show and not often do you get to see a new released boat that is as poignant as this one. This is the first launched Outer Reef 90. It's a full custom cruising yacht. Uh, when I say it's an owner derived custom boat, these are built individually. So starting aft, it's been raining here, so not all the cushions are out. Uh, certainly the flybridge uh, has, has been covered up, but certainly you can see we had this freestanding seating here and we've got these benches around at the side. This owner really designed this boat to cruise uh, the Caribbean. Uh, there and back, this boat's range at eight knots is 3,800 miles. So he basically wanted to take his, his young family away on vacation and be away for a month and be basically self-sufficient. So we have here, we've got coolers, chillers for drinks, over here is an ice maker and storage below. Now I'm going to head down onto the bathing platform which is a very super yacht light sized on this 20 foot beam boat. Now here's the secret sauce because this is the crew quarters and I would say it would be doubtful that you would find a boat under 120 feet that had anything to offer of this quality and caliber. So I'll start with, this is a crew cabin. You have the double bunks with an ensuite. Of course a TV. Now this is the captain's cabin the captain's cabin. That is a full king size double bed. And there you have its own walk in shower. Which I find unbelievable. Moving out. This is the crew galley. Now when we, when we go up into the main saloon, you'll understand why the owners opted for this luxurious galley. I mean, in itself, it's a pretty nice place to be. But let's go take a look in engineering, which is pretty much on this boat. A lot of cool secret sauce cruising stuff. So behind this waterproof bulkhead door we've got twin 30 kVA Northern Lights generators. The builders have told me that this boat can run pretty much its entire systems off of one generator if required. So essentially it's double bubble. It's, it's, it's doubled up for every job. Now these are the smallest engines they offer in this boat, uh, which gives this boat a top speed of 14 knots, but it gives us it gives it an incredibly long and efficient cruising range. Moving forward, the fuel tanks are forward of this bulkhead, which has allowed the full width of the boat and full walk around access to both engines. This space is all ventilated and air conditioned. So now let's head up and see what an absolutely fabulous job this owner has done in customizing this boat to his requirements. So we have laundry down here. So heading up from the crew accommodation into the main saloon, you get this lovely warm feeling that you're being invited into somebody's home. It's very, very elegant. With lovely, 
personalized fittings. It, it, it feels like somebody's Hamptons home. And now when you see the main galley, So this really gives you a feel and interpretation. The owner's wife likes to cook for her family. So she had a galley made and it's just like a domestic kitchen. So obviously you have your dishwasher. All beautifully done. And of course you have this lovely center island. So it's a really social home from home. Uh, you know, very rarely do you find a boat at this level that feels like somebody's home and they've really done it, they've built it. It's, it's a wonderful, warm place to be. So moving forward past this fabulous Cook's Galley which opens up the helm and obviously this seating and dining area but just more details everywhere throughout this boat. This pantry, all custom made. Soft clothes and everything secured. Even details. There's a locker that's specially created to keep 18 rolls of kitchen towel specifically in one place. And moving to the helm, the simplicity but massive attention to detail in this boat. Obviously you've got these watertight doors, port and starboard. And then this really clean helm dominated by these three 22 inch Garmin's and there's an 18 inch Garmin there. And even looking at the wheelhouse in this helm, with this polished steering wheel, the view forward is phenomenal and the way it's laid out creates so much simplicity that it really feels like for a boat this size a very easy boat to manage so we're going to move forward and down into the main accommodation of the boat so as i said the owner really wanted a personal feel to it for his children his grandchildren and he's created this fabulous lower deck of incredibly warm and welcoming materials, fabrics. It really is a home from home. So obviously we have a walk-in shower, we have Carrera marble floors and countertops. We have a king-size bed, hanging storage, cedar lined flat screen tv now you'll notice all these hatches under floor so there are not just systems but there's a lot of storage built into this boat so the ideal of long distance cruising with everything you need has really been catered for and if you look at this staircase this staircase this actually lifts up electrically and reveals a large storage compartment down underneath and the same is for the steps that lead up to the flybridge so we have a twin guest cabin. Again, Carrera marble. And really has this lovely New England feel to the boat. Very classical, very elegant. And then we have another queen state room where we have closets and storage, little dressing area here, nice flat screen TV. And then of course, again, lovely ensuite, Carrera marble on the floor and on the countertops. So onwards, this is the master stateroom in this boat. Full king size bed, double closets, again classic New England style, it's got a lovely feel to this yacht and everything is very domestic housey like these swing arms these are the kind of fittings you would find in a in a lovely home 
rather than being particularly nautical orientated. And then we go into this dressing room, master bathroom. Again, lovely Carrera marble. And you've got this intricate mother of pearl detail in the floor. And there, of course, is the head and a lovely walk-in shower. And as I mentioned, there is storage everywhere. So let's head up to the flybridge and take a look around. Moving again past these hydraulically lifted steps, there's more storage, huge amounts of storage below here. And again, more storage. And so moving around this enormous flybridge, as you can see, we've got these Corian topped twin seating areas. You've got helm controls, port and starboard as well on the wings. So you've got throttle controls and thrusters. So docking becomes significantly easier. And then of course you've got this fantastic flybridge helm where again you've got your bow stern thrusters, twin 18 inch Garmin's along with your autopilot and your multifunction displays. Looking aft, more home from home. The owner's got a gas drill. It's, uh, it's latched in place, so I won't lift that up. Sink, refrigeration, more storage and more storage. And of course, this nice bar area. We've got steps here for maintenance for the electronics that are above. Sea bobs. This is where the tender would sit. So an 18 foot rib. There's the crane to launch it with. And then heading aft, the owner likes to go north and go whale watching so he's had this section built so he can sit on the back of the boat with a completely unobstructed view and as you can see at this very lavish palm beach show what a view it is